is a man you may have seen last month at the Palladium with his band Death Clock. He is the creator of home movies and Metalocalypse and a very big Exodus fan. Please give a warm round of applause for Brennan Small. Oh, please, please, you're too kind. We're gonna show a documentary, and uh, this this I, I hope will be the first documentary that we'll have a mosh pit. This should be a, this should be a pretty fucked up screening, if I'm right, right? I mean, I'm, how long have you guys you guys all Exodus fans from a long time ago? Yeah. And you guys are probably major alcoholics, so this should be a fun night. We're gonna show you a documentary on a Friday night. How about that? Um, again, it's the Assorted Atrocities Tour DVD. Please welcome, roll the clip now, friends. I'll see you later. There's gonna be a Q&A later on. Check it out, stick around. Doesn't Rob look beautiful? Freezer! Rob, Rob thought he was being a rain tonight, so he wore his best suit. <laughs> He's damn it. So that was fucking amazing. That was a great documentary. It was the first time I saw it. That was really great. So you're responsible. All of you are responsible. You shot a lot of this footage. Right? Like, Ma, I shot like 95% of it. Um, me and Craig directed it and like and produced it. Put it all, like, we just edited it and put it all together in, in like a year. It took us like a year to do that. Um, so, here we're gonna give Craig a big, or, you know, hand because uh, he was awesome. He edited our endless hours. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of hours of footage we went through, and just, uh, you know, you know, it was awesome. It was fun to do. You know. Well, how about, that was fucking awesome. Did you guys like that or what? Yeah. 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 When's uh, you guys just finished a record too, by the way? Am I right? Yeah, it's been mixed right now. Andy Sneak did that one too? Exactly. And you guys have a release date for that one yet? Mid-May-ish. Okay. And how are you guys feeling about it so far? Crushing. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. If anybody knows me, knows anybody, anytime, but how's the new album? Crushing. <laughs> Crushing. Gary never likes to hype the record before it comes out. <laughs> I'm just a fan. I'm a metal fan. I'm a thrash metal fan. and, and when I like it, that means I like it as a fan, not so much as a, it's like not ego, it's just, man, that shit makes me fucking want to move. Hey, can I, can I ask a question? Just, I mean, it's, it's hard to ask a bunch of fan questions right now. When you guys actually show a lot of shit that goes on on the road in that documentary, that like answers all the fan questions, but did you really sneeze and throw out your neck? In that moment. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Has anybody here ever sneezed so hard it hurt your back? I'm sure I'm not alone. <laughs> That's just for old people, I guess. Uh, uh, Rob actually uh, pooped himself one time. He screamed so hard. Uh, Hold on. I actually did. Hold on, I, let, let me pray. Let me let me set it up by saying that I had food poisoning from eating dog that was served us in Slovenia. They actually, they actually barbecued dog and fed it to us. I ate it. I got sick and, and I screamed. Uh, lesson in violence, and the very last one I screamed was so loud, a little teeny shit came out. And I was wearing shorts with no boxers, and it, it came out, and on the stage, and I just went boot like that, and I kicked it off onto the, into the barrier area, and I ran past Jack, and Jack was laughing, and he saw it all happen, and these guys didn't know, and I went and I, I shit myself, and there was no toilet paper, and I used uh, someone's t-shirt, and then I threw it away, and that was it, and then I came back out and I finished the show. I came back out and I finished the fucking show. No percussion. How do you guys go about recording riffs, asks Kenny Riley, and solos? What's the process? Walk us through. Riffs, there's a great process. Everything's got to be perfect and exact. Solos, there is no process because I go in completely unprepared and do not know at all what I'm doing. It, it comes down to one thing. Just start here, play real fast, end here. When all else fails, grab the whammy bar and twist start. very hard. 
So early on, Exodus had lots of satanic sounding lyrics and satanic imagery. Gary Holt, that's you. You uh, wore an upside down cross, which is a, a lot of people don't know that, but that's Satan. That's a reference to you. <laughs> <laughs> it is! Oh, fuck, yeah. man, I've been just... backwards this whole time. Yeah, you're headed backwards. Yeah. <laughs> but pleasures of the flesh, all satanic references were gone. What's the deal? Uh, temporary, temporary moment of insanity. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm all about Satan. Satan's all about me. All right. yeah. Hail Satan! Yeah. Fuck God! Well, yeah. Buy me a drink. A drink. I brought you a drink. I think also the fact is that there's a, there's enough like real evil in the world that like you don't have to make up fictitious evil. Like there's enough real shit. So. You know, it's easy to sing about. But I'm all about bringing Satan back into thrash metal. So. There you go. What do you guys think about that? A little bit more Satan. Uh, how has Tom's left hand affected the way Exodus writes riffs and songs? Now, let's talk about that because you're left-handed. Am I right about that? You're holding the mic? Yeah. So, yeah. The only way you can really know if you're left-handed is if you jack off in front of a person. Yeah. Let me ask you guys something. You're on the road often. What do you do to not turn into fat fucks on the road? I mean, there's all that pizza there. What do you do? How do you deal with all that pizza? It's like, what? It's on the writer, right? I, don't, I, I, haven't, I haven't figured that one out yet, dude. Uh, Nam is like going, for those of you guys who don't know what Nam is, it's like going to, uh, it's like, if you don't, if you can't make it to Nam, go to Guitar Center and walk around a thousand times. <laughs> Pretty much. That's pretty much it, yeah. But, pretty much it. You need like a lot of self-important musicians to be walking around yeah, a thousand yeah. times too. Go on, yeah, watch a whole bunch of old fuckers who raped a bunch of babies. And <laughs> a bunch of those blue, like, uh, Megan's Law dots on top of that, like, area, if you look at the topographic map at that time. Like, oh, a bunch of shitty, horrible, washed up yeah, a thousand people. Yeah, all in Hollywood has a bunch of those walking around all day. <laughs> a thousand I people know. all trying to get their gear for free. Yeah, and then trying to get free shit. Yeah, yeah. So if, that's, if you guys like uh, that, then go to NAM next week. I'll be there. <laughs> that's one of those urban legends. Yeah, right it's not an urban legend. Uh, that's what they keep saying, <laughs> but I witnessed it. It actually was a, it was Paul Bailoff's friend, too. I mean, but what people don't get is like, the guy did not die. I mean, it was just like kind of, you know, like a scratch. Wait a minute, so a guy actually took some sharp object and cut it in his yeah. throat. Yeah. yeah. The ambulance show. came, you, you guys were on stage. I'm you know. kidding. He didn't really slit his throat. No, actually, let's backtrack. Yes, they did go out and cut his throat. They slashed his throat and dragged his corpse up, and we all fucked the slice on his throat. <laughs> and when he shot the load, it came out of his mouth. <laughs> And fucking then we like devoured his flesh and stomped him into the stage surface of Ruby's head. Where he lived. The body laid there for if, another 20 years. If you come in his neck and it comes out of his mouth, is that gay? <laughs> Who's gay? Okay, that guy, there's a guy back there that's very adamant. Go. That was me. Ask it. Ask it. Ask it. Ask it. Do it. Which one of you guys smokes the bottom of the Jack Anderson, there he is. Folks, this is Exodus. They right here, right? Thank you. Thank you very much, man. You guys are great. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the DVD. I hope you purchase it and buy it and watch all the bonus stuff and the live concert. There's a CD that comes with it, man. Uh, you know, 